Hey y'all, welcome to my first official video on my YouTube channel, Releasing the Weight, where we will be using exercise and movement to not only shed a few pounds from our body, but also as a way to improve emotional wellness. Now, studies have shown exercise improves mental health by reducing anxiety, depression, negative mood, and it also increases our self-esteem. So before I get into my experience on Dr. Bobby Price's 28-day detox, I want you to go ahead and hit subscribe and join me as we release the weight from our mind, body, and soul. All right, so seven days into my 28-day detox on Dr. Bobby Price's Holistic Reengineering Plan. Holistic Reengineering is actually the name of his company. I'm going to show you the tease in a little bit, but I want to start out with his book, Vegication Over Medication Myths, Lies, and Truths About Modern Medicine and Food. Um, this book is really good. If you decide that you are going to take on this mission, I would highly suggest that you read his book first. It has a lot of great information about the food we eat, the food we eat. <laughs> it has a lot of great information about the food we eat, how it helps us and how a lot of it harms us. Um, I can't really do it any justice by speaking about it as if I'm an expert, but um, he does allow you to have a lot of aha moments. A lot of things starts to make sense as you read this book. And I love that he is actually a former pharmacist writing a book like this and making the transition from the world of um, medical pharmacy into a more holistic health lifestyle. So, you know, it's like, I don't know, it might just be me, but it's one thing to have someone who is I don't know if you, I don't know if everybody ever used this term, but in New York, we use the term backpacker, like that backpacker type person telling you to be vegan and eat healthy, opposed to someone who actually worked in pharmaceutical saying, listen, <laughs> you need to treat your food as if it's medicine. And that's a common Imhotep quote. Um, he was, he was always big on, actually Taylor, you should know that Imhotep was always big, he's a philosopher from back in uh, the Egyptian times. And he always said you should treat your food as your medicine, right? Meaning that your food should heal you and not hurt you. But again, if you're gonna join this journey, please read this book because it'll keep you motivated to keep going. Because anytime you think about or may have cravings to have, uh, whether it's the milk, the cheese, the meat, um, the sugar, you'll be reminded as to why you're even having those cravings in the first place. So it's a really good book. So now I've been doing this for seven days now, and I just wanted to give you a, a little overview on how my first three days went, how day four, five, and six have been so far. So um, I'm recording this on my seventh day, but by the time I upload, it'll probably be like my day nine or, or 10. So um, the first step in the process is to, of course, purchase your teas, and it comes in these packages. You have the tummy tea tops, and you have the parasite candida cleanse. And what I do is, I don't know if you can see inside here, there's a strainer bowl, and I put the herbs inside the strainer bowl, and then I pour my hot water over the bowl and let it sit for six hours. Now, I typically do this at night, so it's ready for me to drink first thing in the morning. I'll drink one. And then some at some point throughout the day, I'll end up drinking my second bottle. So at the time of this recording, I've already drank my first uh, jar. It's a 32 ounce jar. And then probably later on this afternoon, I'll end up getting through this one as well. And there's no specific order. You can start with either the tummy tea tox or the parasite as long as you drink it throughout the day. And then as you're snacking, I actually bought, let me see if I have it in here. Yeah, so for snacks, I bought ooh, peanuts from the supermarket. I bought um, pistachios and sunflower seeds, oranges, apples, and a lot of good things, a lot of good healthy things just to snack on if I feel hungry. I also um, drink smoothies throughout the day to help um, with my hunger. Now, 
This detox does not require you not to eat, which I think is amazing because it, for me, it makes it easier. I am Muslim, so during Ramadan, I'm accustomed to not eating throughout the day. I mean, and that's not a, a detox, that's a fast, a religious fast. And even when I'm detoxing outside of my religious parameters, I'm usually stopping myself from eating in that same fashion. But on this uh, detox, you can actually eat but you just have to eat clean, right? So that means no meat, no sugar, no dairy, including cheese, milk, yogurt, that kind of thing. So the first day was horrendous, right? And I mean, it wasn't hard, but the worst part of it was actually drinking the tea because let me tell you, it, it does not taste good. The first three days, it's very bitter. You have to get accustomed to the taste. It's gonna make your stomach, it's, it's, it's disgusting. But after around day four and five, what I noticed is that um, the taste isn't as strong as it was the first three days. It's not as bitter as the first three days. Like literally by day seven, it just tastes like tea without sugar now. Like all of the, um, that strong tonic, like, and, and I don't know, some of y'all might be around my age. Back in the day, we used to drink this stuff called um, wood root tonic. And that's a really spicy herbal tonic that my mom would give me when I was younger. And it had a, a bitter taste. I don't care how many times I took it, that taste never went away. It starts out that way, but eventually it, it goes away. So I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but in the, fir the first three days, you're gonna be going to the bathroom a lot. So be prepared for that. Now it's not like you have to stay home, but just be mindful that you wanna be in areas where you're comfortable. <laughs> Go into the bathroom if the need should arise. Um, by day four, you're still, you know, releasing not just through a uh, bowel movement, but you're going to notice that you're also urinating a lot. I noticed that I got a couple of pimples on my face, like in the cheek area. I got one on my forehead. And after reading the book, he does mention that the detoxification process happens in all ways because, you know, your body is a filter. It's, gonna, it's just going to come out in the way that your, your body naturally releases toxins. So I have been noticing that. Um, is there anything else uh, specific to the detox? I think those were the major things. Um, I did get on a scale. I have lost seven pounds and I'm going to post this on my Instagram because I have a picture of how much I weighed back in August compared to what I weigh now and I've lost seven pounds since then. I've lost an inch on my waist and um is there anything else and I, I measure my waist in two two places. I do my natural waistline and then I do my abdomen and in both areas I went down by one inch and anything else I think that is pretty much it um hmm. yeah yeah so that's been the first seven days experience so what I'm gonna do is keep track of everything that's happening on a weekly basis my next video is going to be on day 14 and I'll let you know how um, how that whole process has been going from there um, if you have any questions Put it in the comments. I'm going to put all the details about where you can get the book, where you can get the tea. And um, yeah, let me know if you're going to join and I'll see you next Sunday for day 14 of the 28 day detox.